Alright, so before the video starts, I just want to let you know that I do have a Patreon. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing my full on cut reactions and the full length reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description. And you'll also be able to see the reactions a few days or like a week early. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. But as for now, let's get straight into the reaction. Okay, so welcome back to another reaction. Today we're going on to episode 9 of season 4 of The Expanse. And uh, yeah, this episode is the actual penultimate episode of the entire of season 4. Uh, so yeah, of course, I'm really, really excited to go straight into this episode. Especially after last episode, man. Holy shit. Last episode's ended, man. I mean, I literally spent probably like a good 5-10 minutes just rambling on about that ending. Like... That ending was so damn good. We had, like, Miller at the very end. Like, we, well, James Holden saw Miller. Miller contacted the Proto Monocle, contacted James Holden. But yeah, it's almost as if, like, the Proto Monocle can't speak. Like, it's trapped, kind of. It was like Miller was saying, like, I can't talk. It, like, and he was trying to explain something to Holden. But obviously, he wasn't speaking. He was only, like, t like it's weird. He was, like, he was kind of, like, phasing as well. He was, like, glitching all over the place. And he was, like, um, swapping through different outfits that Miller wore when he was alive. And uh, different hairstyles and hats and no hats and all this type of stuff. And then, and at the end of that, literally Miller just like screamed, or well, the protein particle screamed, like help, like really, really loud. It was like a really loud piercing, like cry out for help pretty much. The protein molecule is crying out for help for Holden to do something. But yeah, so obviously that makes complete sense now why a protein molecule hasn't been in this show or well in this season since um, Holden activated that thing. I feel like the structure that they're in right now, Holden and the, the rest of everyone on New Terror, I feel like that structure isn't actually protein molecule. I thought it was protein molecule. I actually think that structure is the thing that wiped out the, uh, the what's called, the species that created the protein molecule. I feel like that structure, like that is one of the remnants of the people that actually like destroyed the proto molecule the species that created the proto molecule rings uh so yeah i i don't know what's gonna happen man i oh my god that animals are so damn good like there's so much theories and possibilities with what's happened with miller like yeah i was i was thinking like maybe like this structure maybe it like uh like prevents the proto molecule from reaching out uh to hold and maybe it like acts as like a barrier or something so the the people uh that kill the proto molecule they created a structure billions and billions of years ago and uh yeah maybe that's why the proto molecule couldn't reach out but then again they did reach out because obviously holden was in the proto molecule structure the claw so yeah, I don't know, man, but whatever it is, that can't be good. But oh my god, I got so much goosebumps for that. That was such an incredible scene, man. I don't know why, I just love stuff like that. I love, like, when TV shows do that kind of stuff. Like, oh my god, that was such an amazing scene. Uh, and yeah, I have no doubt going into this episode, we'll see more of Mel and see... Well, I mean, we'll see, like, Holden try to decipher what the hell that was and try to figure out, obviously, it probably tell, like, everyone on the Rossi and Amos. And uh, yeah, I feel like they are going to find a seat, like, some secret on this, uh, this structure, this protomonical structure. Or, the thing is, I I've been calling it a protomonical structure for so long. It might not even be the protomonical structure. It could be uh, a structure of the thing that killed the protomonical, like I've already said, like, a million times. But... Yeah, who knows, man? There's a lot of possibilities. Like, yeah, we had all these, like, green, gooey slugs, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, I don't think... I was thinking, like, is that the protomonical version 2? Is that, again, like, a protomonical disease? And, uh, yeah, I know the doctor did actually say what it was. I can't remember what it was. But it was some sort of thing where, like, the humans, like, have a reaction to it. And, yeah, the only reason why Holden wasn't affected and the reason why Holden wasn't going blind was actually because of, uh, the, what's it called? The anti-cancer uh, medication that was in his arm. Obviously, on Aero Station, him and Miller, Holden and Miller went into, like, a well they was exposed to loads of radiation wasn't they and uh, yeah the thing that pretty much is keeping holder alive is fighting off um the what's called this uh this i don't know what it's called it there was a word for it but yeah this green gooey substance and and yeah pretty much that is fighting it off so yeah literally if holden wasn't exposed to radiation on arrows literally he would be blind right now and, and everybody would be doomed on uh what's called a new terrorist that's a really it's literally just a butterfly effect isn't it? it's a crazy thing to think about but yeah if that literally happened everybody would be doomed right now and uh yeah thank god they aren't and and yeah the doctor found like a cure from holden's eye like it was a really gruesome scene a really disgusting scene because you can actually imagine like a needle like piercing your eye it's horrible to think about uh but yeah the doctor pierced well no holden pierced his own eye and got like a bit of like the the fluid or whatever and created a like a vaccine or like a cure from uh his like eye and yeah gave out to everybody on uh, new terror and uh, yeah everyone is back to normal but oh my god amos was really really interesting last episode like we saw a different side to amos like the way amos was acting was completely different like i don't know it just felt really different obviously and he was actually really scared and like he was acting like that kid like he said when he was five years old he was in a basement or something and uh, yeah pretty much he was there and uh, when it was day it was dark it was always dark in that room he'd go to sleep he'd wake up when it was dark so yeah obviously for him to be going blind again he's having like flashbacks to that time when he was just locked in a room where it's pitch black all the 
time. So yeah, obviously that is bringing up childhood trauma for him, like really, really bad. And we literally saw like Amos started just punching and trying to attack, like Holden literally like touched him and said, you're right, mate. And uh, yeah, Amos went crazy, but thank God, thank God Amos is right, man. I actually thought he was going to go blind, you know, I thought that's the direction the show was going in. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad that, uh, what's called, he's back to normal now. And yeah, I love that scene between Amos and uh, Holden, where Amos said to Holden, like, I can't believe you actually did it. You actually did do it. I didn't think he could. And uh, yeah, that was a really, really nice scene. And Holden was just like, don't worry, man. Oh, I love that scene. I mean, to be honest, you've been with Holden for this long, man. You should know by now. Literally, Holden works miracles. He's been in the center of literally everything, and he's always prevailed, man. So, yeah, I had total faith in Holden, but then again, that situation was crazy. And, uh, yeah, you can definitely understand uh, what's called Amos's, like, thoughts on that. He literally thought he was going to go blind. And, yeah, anyone in that state of mind is going to act the way Amos did, really. Just get angry and just... It's, like, angry, confused, and also just, like, petrified at the same time. It's all these different emotions clouding your, your judgment. Obviously, that is what happened to Amos, but... But yeah, I'm so happy he's alright, man. I'm so happy that uh, what's what they did uh, cure it and uh, everybody is fine now. That's really, really good. But yeah, one thing that isn't good is Murchie, man. Murchie wants to silence Holden. Murchie said previously to Kandra that, yeah, he's going to kill Holden and uh, try and understand the proto molecule to make money off it, pretty much. He said, like, if we can understand the proto molecule and understand, like, what is actually on this planet and use this planet, this planet will be worth hundreds and hundreds of billions. And he gets, like, a cut, like, 1% or something. And yeah, he said, like, here, it cut Kandra in. Murchie, mate, you slipped up telling Kandra that Kandra is on Ames' side. Kandra is going to flip on you, mate. Uh, see, I can't wait for that scene where Murtry is going to try and do something to Holden. Amos is going to get involved and uh, what's it called? Uh, Murtry is going to expect Kandra to be on his side, but then Kandra is going to flip and be on Amos' side. I can't wait for that. That's going to be a fucking great scene, man. There is definitely going to be a major brawl between Amos and uh, Murtry. I mean, I've predicted it since we've literally seen like both of them on screen together, like episode three probably. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait for that, man. That's going to be fucking amazing. I can't wait for that. Uh, but yeah, what else? Um, I mean, yeah, we've got the Barb and uh, the Rocinante successfully linked up now. And yeah, obviously Alex is thrusting the, uh, the what's called the, the Barb through, uh, the rope, which is actually made up of, like, mining nets, which is actually really cool. And, uh, yeah, they're getting out of orbit, obviously, t to avoid literally falling out. Well, falling down into new terror. So, but yeah, man, this season has been really, really great so far. I can't believe. I mean, I said this last episode as well, and the episode before probably, but I can't believe people said this is the worst season of the Expanse. Like, this fucking season has been amazing. Like, I, obviously, yeah, it's probably not as good a season for one, nowhere near season three, really. But it has. It's so unique and so good in its own way. I really don't get why this season's critiqued so much. It's a really, really good season, and uh, yeah, I mean, we've got so much going on. So I don't see how people can find this season disappointing. I'm so excited for next season as well, because apparently it literally rivals season three uh so yeah that's me fucking amazing i can't wait for that but yeah i'm literally on the pen ultimate episode of season four like holy shit i cannot believe that and literally next episode is the final and then i am done with season four and on to season five crazy man absolutely crazy uh but yeah i'm gonna keep this intro relatively short because I, I think i'll do like a longer outro at the end so uh yeah i'm gonna keep this intro quite short and uh, get straight into this episode so yeah this will be the expanse season four episode nine the pen ultimate episode of season four uh really really excited and uh yeah without further ado let's get straight into this right this episode is titled uh Sikalem. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's S A E C U L U M. So Kalem. Or, yeah, it's gotta be Sakalem. I can't believe how fast season four has gone, you know. Like, that is ridiculous. It feels like I just started this season like a minute ago and it's already nearly over. Like, that's mad. Alright, nice. Oh my god. Let's go, man. I was gonna say, a minute bet being this episode and the next episode. If it's not, I would have been pissed. We have to know exactly what the fuck is going on with Miller and the Proto Molecule. Okay, so what do we got here? What am I reaching for? Reaching for? I'll reach wherever the fuck I want to reach, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, Miller. Like some bad virus. Ah, yeah. Okay, so what do we got here? I can stay out of my head. Oh, yeah, he keeps reaching out. He keeps trying and trying. Monkeys. He's being fired, boss. Oh. I quit. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, fuck being fired, boss. I quit. Uh, okay, what the fuck is going on? Christ. What? We seem to be holding together pretty good right now, though. That couldn't kill me this time. But we might not have long. What? I, I so my crew out here he's gone rogue. Helping you, not the proto molecule. What is going on? Proto molecules. So Millet's actually alive now. In <laughs> what the fuck? Miller is alive inside of James Holden's head. 
He's a new Miller because he's based off Holden. So oh, my God, this is amazing. I found something. Yeah, he did. He Not said that. He wanted me to find him. And my new bosses can't go. Every time I reach out, Ooh. dies. If it shuts down, whatever's trapping us here, that'd be a start. Exactly. It's already dead. Let's go kill its ghost. By activating... What the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah. Hold it, literally, mate. Millis opens a door and goes Have through. Fucking hell, Miller. I love Miller, man. Neurotoxins. That's what. I, that's what I was on about. Not disease, a neurotoxin. Right. Oh, are you hearing Holden speaking to Miller? I, you probably are, to be honest. Because Miller's actually there now. He's not the. He's not the investigator anymore. He's not the hat. He's the actual Miller, but he's made from Holden's mind. That is so confusing, man. So Obviously, Miller's... Wait, what? can the doctor actually hear Miller? You ever met anybody you didn't want to save? <laughs> Look, maybe this does both. The bomb works, I'll use it to Literally, kill all that is James Holden. on the planet. Your ships go free. Or you can do that without killing us all. No. Oh, God. Here we go again, Two man. Oh, God. Though, this episode has been crazy. They're looking for something that will completely destroy the proto molecule. And he said like a war was fought here between the proto molecule and uh, whatever killed the proto molecule. Wow, yeah. I'm so glad we're seeing more Miller, man. I fucking love Miller. Oh, I thought I thought Naomi said Kabola burn. Then that's what I thought she said, but it's just another burn. I don't know what Kabola burn could reference, you know. Oh my god, this fucking idiot. He's literally gonna take out all the bowers. He said she got a bomb set on the it's fucking okay, thing. Man. He's not justified, but he does have motive. That's the I thing about the show. Everybody up. has like a, a motive and a reason behind everything. But yeah, Amos, <laughs> has, I, I did say that previously. Amos You're and tired. Thingy, Mercury are very alike. Work here. I've been awake for three days straight. So yeah, I'm fucking tired. When me both. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're not even here, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> Holden, Tommy, jump in there, mate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holden has so much faith in Miller. I swear to god. Literally, it's taking him down fucking random place. Oh. He's taking. I know where he's taking him. Yeah, the bomb. We saw previously, didn't we? We saw the, the claw, yeah? And then, then at like the very bottom of the claw, we saw like a massive, like, um, well, it looked like radiation and loads of energy at the bottom. And it looked that kind of color. So I think that's what uh, Miller's taking hold on to. So he, he found something at the very bottom of the claw. And uh, yeah, I think that's the bomb or that's the energy or that's whatever the hell it is that, uh, what's it called, uh, Miller is taking hold on to. Uh, I can help. No, no you can't. No. My ship is going to burn too. It's different. No, Holden is special. I, just as much to I can't no. see him when anyone's around. Yeah, have some faith in Holden, man. He saved the universe multiple times. So, but yeah, have faith in him, man. Oh my God! Oh my God! What? Uh, how far is that going? Oh God, Holden's a bit. Uh, Millis will be there, isn't he? Floating with him. Yeah, Amos Everyone is gone. Check in. We need eyes on Holden. Copy that. What do you mean Amos is gone? Yeah, Holden is Doctor actually down. Oh my god, you're not finding I'm Holden. No one has eyes on Holden. Yeah, mate, as if you know where Holden is. He's literally jumped out. <laughs> oh my god, Merch, you have no fucking clue. You have no clue at all. Oh, shut your mouth. Amos, beat the shit out of him. Come on. Uh, actually, yeah, just tell him. Because, yeah, uh, you're not going to be able to go down there because it will kill you, Merch. Holden open, sorry, Miller opened it for Holden, so anyone else tries, they're dead. So yeah, good luck with that. But oh my god, Holden fell down so far. He said we're going after what's called on security divisions of Thoris. Holden, so yeah. It's starting, man. Oh shit. It's starting. The brawl between Mercury and Amos is beginning. The rivalry is coming to an all-time high like a predicted man. I can't wait for them scenes, man, where Amos absolutely fucking destroys Murty. Mercury, I can't wait for that. Will somebody want to ride? Now sit the fuck down and go back to doing whatever it is you do. Oh my god. Are you Mercury Slapdog, mate? Really? Gonna shoot him? Wow. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with all of Mercury's crew? But yeah, isn't that just gonna burn like we saw? The last one literally melted, so... You see, way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one's allowed to talk to her, all right? Yeah, back off, mate. Fuck off. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't even try, Amos, man. 
Nope. Oh my god, I love Amos. That guy is actually a decent guy as well. Yeah, mate, you're not going to have to contact him. He's fucking falling down the earth. Well, not earth, he's falling down new terror. Amos. Going into a purple fucking... Oh, who knows, man. Right, Amos, get ready, man. Wait, get suited up. For your boss. Don't be there when I do. Oh my god, yes. Let's fucking go, man. Amos and Mertry, it's happening this episode. Oh my god, I can't wait for this. And hold on, mate. Um, oh, my, oh my god. That's what I thought. I thought that this structure is massive, which it is. That's like a, like a, a little portal. That's so cool. But yeah, this is at the very nice bottom step. of it, isn't it? Like the little like massive energy we saw from Minute's perspective. No, don't follow him. Yeah, head, don't follow him. Asshole. Oh my god. There's two minutes trying to fight right now. He's cracking the whip, wondering why I don't jump. I'm killing him off for good. <laughs> yeah. See how that works. That's a good plan. Uh, Miller, I'm oh, sorry. Hold him. Don't listen to Miller's like uh, the Miller with the hat. The Miller with the hat is the investigator who is under control of the proto I'm molecule. I am. So don't listen to that Miller if he comes back. Like, only listen to the Miller with no <laughs> hat. <laughs> that sounds so fucking funny, man. Obviously, Amos. I love Amos, man. He's actually jumping. Danger, head first into danger. The cables to elastic. Again for Holden. But... The... Oh, it's this guy. It's that guy, uh, the legend on board. Uh, yeah, I know that. Guy. I know. Yeah, I, know yeah. <laughs> I know who that is. It's the legend guy who said to the guy, like, "What the fuck is Mercury doing then?" You know what happened last time. This guy here, I love this guy, man. This guy is such a good character. Shoot it! Shoot it down! Shoot it down! Naomi, what's wrong? I think we might be under attack. From what? Brace for impact. Oh! Oh my God! But yeah, Army, what about the bar? Fire! Fire! You got fire! You have to fire! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no, that's fucked it, that's fucked it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, this episode is crazy! Oh my god, Naomi is a fucking legend! Fabulous, man! Oh my god! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Thank god for that! Nami, you literally just saved Lucy's life, man. You absolute fucking okay. legend. Yeah, take that Mercury, little dickhead. It's okay now. Oh my god, it actually allows... I didn't think it would allow Mercury to go down there. What? I thought it was only holding. Clear. Oh no. Oh my god, Amos is coming as well. Amos is going to fucking destroy you, Mercury. Condra, flip on Mercury right now when Amos comes. Please. Please don't be loyal to fucking Mercury. That's a deal. That's not happening. You have my word. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Mercury, you're dead, mate. That there's no up, way you Oh my god. There's no way you're killing gamers. But that's so sick. It's like I lighting you up. Knew where this dead spot was. I'm I i do not want to miss any dialogue here because it's all so important. What the actual fuck, man? What the fuck? That is so just right. oh, I love Miller. I knew this structure was fucking huge and it went down and down and sideways and oh my god. This structure is crazy. And the fact that it was built billions and billions of years ago, like, holy shit, man. If I slip off, how long will I fall? Uh, oh god, that's not reassuring. Don't teleport now. Rest of your life. Oh my god, no. Hold it, be careful, man. If you fall, you're gonna be, oh, you won't even die. You'll just be falling and falling and falling. That is actually the worst, like, torch ever. Come on, Rossi, man. I'm so glad Alex built the, uh, the fucking... Uh, what is it? Like pod or whatever? That was another burner. This is gonna get worse fast. How many like a cola have burner, have you say? Everything on that side is dead. It's gonna feel like going off the edge of the cliff. Edge of a cliff. Okay. Oh my god. I'll go below and see if I can fix any. Keep it to yourself. What's it look like? So I'm in a cinematography. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that shot. How do you think I've been turning all this shit on? <laughs> well, once I'm inside. What? Will that I destroy you? Die. Oh my god. What? You can call this living. No, no way. Yeah. And I'm going to take the rest of this place with me, too. Oh, my God. And, yeah. Oh, fuck. You need to talk about that right, kid. Next clue in the case. Oh, piss off, mate. Fuck. Piss off. Uh, yeah. Time. So it will fucking kill them, pretty much. You have to, Miller. Oh, it's been so sad to see Miller go, man, but he has to do this, really, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't want him to die. We'll never see him again, but this is the it's only option. And this episode is going to be, the end right. is going to be amazing. Take control of it, oh me. my god, this is so fucking good. You'll know. Oh my god. He's going to connect to the planet. What? He's going to connect to that thing up there. Nah, man. We're never going to see Miller ever again. I'm hoping you make it out of the way. 
You might want to clean that up after. <laughs> yeah, the proto molecule on the Rossi. I want to look into that. That's it. <laughs> what? No are you serious, Muna? Come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get you this far, kid. Just emptying that. Oh, that is so sad. And oh my god, that is fucking fascinating, that thing. What? Oh no, though. We've got so much going on. We've got hey, Alex and all the stuff going on. We've got. Where's Holden? Yeah, but they both don't want to hurt each other, man. This is so fucking sad. Please just say Amos has we to put it down. You don't want to hurt me. That's how it is. No, man. This is going to be so fucking sad. I told you that I would never let If you're in my way. Fuck no. I know Amos will as well. I can't let you do that. Amos will for whole... Fuck no. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't fucking expecting that. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew that was nothing. Card was actually dead. But come on, Holden. You gotta speed this shit up, mate. Come on. Get Miller to go through that fucking orange ring and destroy all the proto molecule. Oh, so we got this going on. We got Mercury and Amos. We got Holden. Miller. Oh my fucking god. Everyone is braced. What Ready? more could you ask for in a fucking expanse episode? Oh my god, this is so amazing. And Holden sees that as well. Miller! That's like the destruction. That is you destroying there? everything. That is a ring to destruction. Oh, what are you doing? No, but Amos has been shot, my god, man. No, but Mercury's coming to kill you. Nah, what Amos doesn't die, man. Amos, Amos doesn't die, so don't have to worry about that. Well, I mean, I don't think Amos will what die. He, he won't just Enough. die. Amos can't die. I know Amos will fucking destroy Mercury. I've had that ingrained into my mind. Don't touch him, what are you doing? Oh no, do not fucking touch that. What if for like Mertris to go through that? Oh no, Holden's gone! Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh my god. No. She's her I'm <laughs> Oh my god. I think he went to find Amos. But this timing fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guide, guide Miller. How the fuck is that Miller, man? Guide him, though. How the fuck is Miller? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No, the Mercury man. I'm not sure what holders to do here. I feel like the only what, hope right now is a doctor. From series. Oh, my. What is going on? Just imagine this. This is fucking crazy, but it's amazing. The thing is, this isn't the final. How is this not the fucking final? What? This is like a final episode. I don't get how this isn't the final. Always forget. I met another guy once. Who liked using past genocides to justify his bullshit. You weren't persuaded. A friend of mine shot him in the face. Dresden? Yeah, it was Dresden. I met a shot him. Oh my god! <laughs> Holden got shot! What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck, man? Holden got shot in the neck. Miller, the robot, is going through. This entire fucking place is lighting up and powering up. You have to stand trial. I don't think so. I think he's gonna die. Oh my god, this episode. How is this not the final? How is this not the fucking final? What? what? Oh my god, the final. What? Man, point me at this thing. Don't touch it, though. Don't touch it, Doc. Go straight. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Is it the proto molecule or is it the thing that killed the proto molecule? Oh no! That was a defense mechanism, wasn't it? It's to go through. She's gonna do something. She's gonna run into it. Don't say Miller's dead. Come on, Miller, come on! Get up! Was that the proto molecule fighting back or was it the. Oh my god, how is this not the final? This is fucking crazy episode. Oh, what? It's powering up. What's oh, it powering down? Looks like it's powering up. The entire planet is turning into proto molecule. I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't tell. Spawn Millie, you gotta shut down. You gotta turn off all the proto molecule. I think that is. I think it's activating all the proto molecule. Miller has to do this. The dogs will go through. Wait! Oh, don't you dare in there! No! No! 
Oh my god, that is that is by far the biggest cliffhanger of the entire show. I don't say that lightly as well. Oh my god, that has to be one of the best episodes of the show. Oh my god. That was such a great episode. I can't believe that. I really can't. Alright, so yeah, that's my reaction to The Expanse, Season 4, Episode 9, the penultimate episode of Season 4. Oh my god, what the hell? How was that episode so good? Literally, that episode, oh my god, I can't believe it, that episode was amazing. I think that is one of the best episodes of the entire show. Literally, that episode, literally everything was amazing in that episode. What the hell, man? We had uh, Mertry, Amos, uh, Kandra, and also Miller, and uh, James Holden, Alex, and uh, the Israel ship. Oh my god. There was not a single bad thing about that episode. Literally, everything was so intense, and I just can't even believe... I, I'm literally speechless right now. That episode was so good. Like, I just can't believe it. Mertry. I thought James Holden was actually going to die from that. Oh, my God. Mertry's been shot as well, but I can't believe that. All, that scene with what's called... The scene with Amos and Kanji was so sad, man, but we knew that Amos would go right through it if he had to. To save Holden, he would, he would go right through uh, Kanji. And, uh, yeah, he literally shot her in the head, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and killed her. And Mercury was around the corner and shot Amos in the hand. He has no hand now. Oh, my God. This episode was crazy. And, uh, yeah, what's called Miller? Oh, my God. All the scenes of Miller and James Holden were absolutely fucking fantastic. I swear to God, every time Miller and Holden are on screen, it's some of the best television out there. Like, generally, that was such a great episode. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that is not the final episode. Like, what the actual fuck? How is that not the final? Like, that episode was so good. If that episode isn't the final and it was that good, I can't even imagine how good the next episode will be. Oh, my God. Next episode has the potential to be the best episode of the show so far. Or the best ending of the show so far. The like best ending to a season so far. I don't say that lightly either. Oh, my God. This episode was incredible. I can't believe it, man. Literally, all the scenes of Miller, man. And Miller, like, oh, my God. Literally amazing, man. I feel like I'm just a ramble and ramble, but that was so damn good. This show seems getting better and better, doesn't it? And we're not even on season 5 yet, or season 6, like, Jesus Christ. Can't believe that ended there, obviously, Miller, like, like, that was a farewell. Miller and Holden, we're never gonna see Miller again. And Miller went into, like, a, like, a robotic, like, metal scrap, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, the Doctor had to guide, um, Miller, the, well, the, the fucking metal, uh, scrap, to, like, uh, the, what's called the destruction ring. Like, that ring is, like, full of fire and blackness, isn't it? It's full of, like, destruction and death. And obviously, yeah, Miller's plan is to literally take the entire proto molecule structure and the entire proto molecule through that ring with him and destroy it. So, so yeah, oh my god, though, obviously, when uh, well, when Miller tried and what's called the doctor was trying to guide Miller um, to the ring, uh, literally, like the swarm we saw previously, the swarm, no, it wasn't a swarm, sorry, it was like a massive, uh, well, no, it's just a structure. It literally went and grabbed Miller and picked him up, and then a swarm was released. So, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's like a proto molecule defense mechanism or if that's like the what's called the thing that killed the proto molecule. That could be. I'm not quite sure, you know. I feel like it's got to be the, the proto molecule defense mechanism because obviously we saw Miller and he was like twitching and like uh, glitching, wasn't he? And the proto molecule was fighting back, trying to control Miller. And uh, Miller was fighting back and obviously like remained in control. So. Yeah, I think uh, by them trying to grab Miller as the metal scrap, I feel like that was a proto molecule, like, fighting back, trying uh, desperately to live, pretty much, and to fight back against Miller. And, uh, yeah, that swarm was, like, a, a what's called defense mechanism, pretty much. Literally, the entire planet started lighting up with blue. Like, it started lighting up with proto molecule. Like, what the actual fuck? This entire planet has now turned into a proto molecule planet. And arrows, another arrows. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous how good this episode was, though. And, uh, yeah, we had Kandra, not Kandra, so we had the Doctor at the end, guiding Miller and falling backwards and going into the ring. So now Miller, uh, Miller, what's called, well, Miller as a scrap, has got the proto molecule as, and has gone through the ring with the Doctor. And, oh, my God, of course it ended there. That is the biggest cliffhanger of all time in the show, by, by miles, honestly. I can't believe how much of a cliffhanger that is. Oh my god, I can't believe that, man. Next episode is going to be insane, isn't it? I cannot wait for that. Oh my god, literally everything about that was so damn good. I know I'm rambling, 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 but oh my god. Literally, as a first-time viewer, that was such a good episode. Um, Yeah, I won't be surprised if that was one of the highest-rated episodes of the show. Uh, well, no, highest-rated episode of the show. Because that was uh, honestly phenomenal, like, from the get-go, like, literally... Oh my god, but yeah, Amos, Amos has been really, really badly hurt. His arm's been shot off, like, oh my god, and yeah, Holden was victorious, uh, well no, his arm was, like, his hand was shot off, wasn't it? 
And yeah, Holland was victorious over Murtry, which I wasn't expecting to be honest. I thought Murtry was going to win. And as we saw, Murtry did shoot Holden in the neck. And I thought that was actually going to kill Holden. Like, I thought that Holden was dead from that. Uh, but no, they, they're equally wounded. To be honest. They're really in... They're both in really bad conditions, but um, yeah, Mercury has got the worst, uh, well, worst hand of it, pretty much. And uh, yeah, Holden said, "Now you're going to pay for what you've done. You're going to be put in front of a court and tried uh, the real way, and not like all that shit that he's talking about. Like if men like me create it, and men like you come and work. Like ah, uh, but yeah, that is one of the things I've loved about this season. Mercury is such a good villain, man. Like I love the way he speaks, like, the, the lines that he speaks, the way he speaks, and like." I mean, last episode, one of my favorite lines of the entire show. He was saying to Holden when everybody was blind, like, uh, well, no, when Holden, wait, uh, yeah, when everybody was blind and Holden was the only one that could see, um, Murtry pretty much said, like, um, in a blind man's world or something, in a blind man's land, the, the what's called, the one-eyed man is king. Like, I, I don't know what, something about that quote, like, something about that line from Murtry, it's just so, so good. I love that line. Obviously, yeah, we had that line about... Um, what's it called? I can't remember, but yeah, we, we had amazing lines of Mercury in that monologue he gave to Holden, uh, before they shot, and he was saying about, like, civilization, society, and all that stuff, man, it was really, really good, I absolutely love Mercury as a character, and, uh, yeah, I wonder if we'll see him next episode, because obviously on the, what's called, the preview for next episode, I saw Klaus, so, so yeah, I wonder if, uh, next episode will be, like, primarily focused on Klaus, and, uh, what's it called, uh, Marco, and, like, going on to the, well, trying to hunt down Marco, and seeing what he's up to, and also, like, what the hell's happened now? What the hell's happened now? Miller, the proto molecule. Miller has taken a proto molecule with him through this ring of destruction and death. And, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love that scene there where, what's it called? Holden was saying to Miller, like, is that it? Come on. That's all you're going to tell me. And, yeah, Miller was like, you made it this far, pal. I'm sure you can. Obviously, yeah, he said, remove that blue goo on your shit, mate. And, uh, yeah, obviously, that was there from ages ago. Oh, my God, man. That was amazing. Oh, what else did Miller say to the Holden? He said something about... Well, yeah, obviously, Miller brung Holden down there because... It was like a battle site of like the proto molecule who fought the thing that like destroyed them, uh, the unknown species, the unknown whatever the hell they are, and yeah, that's all. It's almost like a bomb. Is it? The ring is a bomb. So yeah, obviously, I think it is the proto molecule that created that ring, but and the proto molecule like defense mechanism that was trying to stop them. I don't think it was the thing that like destroyed the proto molecule. I don't think it was, but it could be. I could be wrong, uh, as I was completely off about my prediction last episode. Um, that pretty much like Miller like couldn't contact them. Like when we literally saw Miller this episode all the time, I was completely wrong last episode. But yeah, man. Oh my god, I I can't wait for next episode. Next episode will be probably one of the best, if not the best. I don't think it'd be the best. It will be one of the best episodes of the show for sure. Like I can't wait for that. I feel like season four is gonna go out on a bang and set up a lot for season five. Oh my god, man, this season, this fucking season, I still cannot believe people say this is the worst season, like, how is this the worst season, how is this season bad, like, what, if you think this season's bad, there is something wrong with you, I'm sorry, man, but, yeah, this episode, like, all these episodes have been so damn good, and if you really think this season's slow or, like, boring, I, I, I don't understand you at all, like, this season's incredible, and, uh, yeah, literally rival season, I don't, I don't even know, like, season two, like, we had a lot of shit going on, but, yeah, I, I can't really rank this season. Season 3 is by far the best, but I can't rank 2, 4, and 1, you know. Like, 2 and 4 are on the same level, in my opinion. And 1 is slightly worse, but uh, yeah, 2 and 4, incredible. 4 is incredible, man. I love 4. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling now. But oh my god, such a great episode. I can't believe that. That was honestly so damn good. But yeah, I, I can't. I'm so excited for the next episode, man. The ending of Season 4 is going to be fucking incredible, isn't it? I already know that. I haven't even, like, seen the episode. I, I don't even know what the title... I don't know. I do know what the title is. It's Kabola Burn. Um, title of Book 4, obviously. Uh, which, again, is a really cool thing that they do. They always name... They always name the last episode of the season or, like, the book or whatever. The actual book name. Uh, obviously, we had Leviathan Awakes. Um, what, was, what was season 2? Uh, Caliban's War. Uh, Abaddon's Gate. And, obviously, now Kabola Burn. I don't think I'm saying that right, Kabola Burn. But... Yeah, I cannot wait. We're on book four now, and obviously six seasons, so maybe like six books. I've been, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's obviously nine books in total that was created by James S.A. Corey, and there's been six book adaptations to TV. So, uh, yeah, that'd be sick, actually. If When I do, like, complete the show, obviously producers Amazon could create another three seasons of the show. So, yeah, that is amazing. It could potentially go for nine seasons. Like, that is amazing, man. Uh, but, yeah, I am going to end my reaction here, man. This was an incredible episode. I've said that probably a million times, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, I absolutely love that episode, man. That episode was so damn good. I, I really hope you did enjoy my reaction. Oh my god, I love watching it. I love watching the show, man. I see it every single episode, but yeah, the show just keeps getting better and better. I have such high expectations for season five, man. But yeah, this has been my reaction to the Expanse season four, episode nine, a pen ultimate episode of season four and book four. And uh, yeah, I really hope you did enjoy. And as always, cheers for watching. Goodbye.